participants joining the market, you know, continuously defeated and sort of disperse and distribute capital and tokens. You need that for the stuff to survive. So I don't know. We'll see. I love, I like crypto as a concept, <laughs> as a, as a, like a stock price prognosticator, asset price prognosticator. I, I would, I mean, it's pretty, I've been bearish since the day I got out of jail and still bearish. I think we're, we have a lot of problems ahead of us, but in the long run, the software is great stuff. So do you think FTX and X3AC and et cetera are actually bullish DeFi? That's a tough one, right? It depends on what you look at. Like you have to separate usage and value, you know, from a usage perspective, you could argue that this is actually kind of, you know, all working out pretty well from a value perspective and like a governance perspective, you have a totally, this, this stuff's a big problem. I think, you know, you're sort of seeing that, you know, th there is no honest actor in crypto. Every time we sort of pull the mask off somebody, there's another mask to pull off and another mask to pull off. <laughs> is Binance going to be, you know, bailed out yeah. in six months? We just, that's the big problem. They need to show the balance sheet. If, I mean, when you invest, when you put your money in interactive brokers or whatever, like, I don't know about you, but I look at the balance sheet and I say, yeah, it looks like they're solvent. You know, I mean? like I want to know, you know, what I'm what I'm putting my money into because the point of a bank is that they take your money, they make some loans, God forbid they make some investments in liquid securities, but they're definitely not supposed to take your money and, and, and invest in VC stuff. I think that's you know kind of outlandish. So we don't know what Binance has done or hasn't done, and it seems like he's a rational actor. But just because somebody's Twitter persona is rational doesn't mean that you know. Uh, their their balance sheet is solid, right? We, you can sort of trust Jamie Dimon in a way. I don't, but people do because they think he's a good steward of capital. So who's is is CZ the best steward of capital? I don't know. You guys would know better than me. Corian, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I lived through CZ's villain arc, and it was a while ago. Um, maybe he's just got better at hiding it. Who knows? According um, to uh, Wikipedia, federal prosecutors once said. You engaged in multiple schemes to ensnare investors through a web of lies and deceit. Do you see behavior in the market today that makes that uh, feel familiar to you that you would not be surprised if uh, similar activities were occurring you know, amongst the drama that we see? Well, I take deep, uh, you know, sort of offense to that, as you know, not not you personally, but the, the so-called prosecutors. I mean, I was acquitted of most of my charges. Um, all my investors made three to five times their money. So, you know, in terms of uh, deceit, you know, a lot of people ask me if they could they could be deceived more daddy because I was a pretty good, pretty good investor for their portfolios. But regardless, uh, I would say that, um, you know, clearly there's 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 a lot of sort of money grabbing and, and kind of, you know, lies and deceit out there. I mean, I, I think that the, the saddest thing to me is kind of like the protocol violations when when somebody can like sort of grab a bunch of money from a protocol. I think the code is law thing versus, you know, um, you know, kind of uh, the law is law. Uh, it's, it's pretty hard to sort of determine. It's 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 really fascinating to watch, right? It's it's sort of like a pseudo legal bank robbery. Um, I find it really fascinating, but I, I don't, I, you know, I don't know exactly how to answer the question. I mean, I certainly, you know, know fraud when I see it. I used to be, or arguably still am, a good short seller where I, I find fraud and, and reveal it. And there have been a lot of notable trades I've done over the years. Um, uh, that you can look up but so i think that there are more sort of zeros coming i mean I've, i was just on a podcast you know as soon as this was breaking talking about ftt being the zero but i think there are other ones um you know in fact i think most cryptos will eventually go to zero um but there'll be a handful of winners just like the internet um you know where where the internet's landscape in 98 99 2000 2002 2004 was basically the same exact thing what we're seeing in crypto now. There's a lot of excitement about this new technology. Thousands of companies, entities, tokens, whatever, sprout up to take advantage of it. Five, five to ten kind of survive. And I think that that's probably what's going to happen here. You know, you mentioned, you know, uh, you think FTX was probably putting um, customer funds into, like, locked investments, basically. Uh, why do you think they did it? Do you think they just try and milk an extra, like, multiple out of the deposits like exchanges fucking print money it seems like you can just run a big exchange and live a happy life why coin flip it for a double basically it's a really good question in fact if you look at what happened to lehman and those companies like that's exactly the question everybody asks like just be a fucking bank you know or let's make some mortgage <laughs> loans right and there's this per pernicious chase of yield without understanding that you're chasing risk too 
So I think it's just greed and, you know, the desire to be big and be successful and be ambitious. And didn't they say it in the Super Bowl commercial, what it is, right? Go bold or, you know, fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> we get Trump on? Can we get Donald J. Trump, President Trump on this? Do you have a connection with Snowden? We're looking for people who've been either convicted, charged, uh, accused, hey, let's be right hacked. Back. <laughs> um, Jim's like Jim's saying that like I'm, I'm, I'm good man. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Me too, by the yeah. way. I, I, I stole a Freddo. I stole a Freddo twenty twenty odd years ago. Jim, I Jim's like I just shorted all your companies. That's all I did. <laughs> man, I still feel a little bit like it's like, like SBF might just tweet his account got hacked or something and it's not real um i i yeah he seems it, like, he seems literally too smart for 24 this. hours ago he was saying ftx is fine yeah i wonder if he didn't know like if there was like how if, can he not know no he if it was i don't know if the ftx